So my name is Jonathan Morin, and uh, I'm a tap dancer. That's what I do for a living. That's what I do for release. That's what I do for expression. Um, so yeah, tap dancing definitely is the number one priority. That's what we're trying to move forward. That's what helps me uh, conduct my life. Um, and that's what uh, made me the man that I am today. Yeah, at this point, really, I'm just trying to trying to give back. I'm trying to um, do as much as I can for myself, but also for, um, like for me, I was given so much by so many people and, I, and people invested so much into who I am today. So for me, I just feel like that's kind of what I have to do. So uh, I'm teaching a lot right now, um, be it online, which is what it is right now. Um, but uh, I have a very strong interest in teaching people that are interested in the dance. Um, and that's a very important key thing. Um, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, this is, this is what I want to be doing. So I'm happy that, uh, I'm happy that I'm back here. <laughs> this feels like a, this feels like a, a return for me. <laughs> what does it mean to be Canadian? True North, strong and free. God keep our land glorious and free. But what was this land before? Were we not free? The answer to these questions depends on who you ask. Now, if you ask me, let me start by saying this. I learned everything being a tap dancer. And like, not like shuffle, hop, flap, ball changes, but like how to treat people with respect and how to, um, be respectful and how to um, know what you're worth and how to manage conflict and how to um, learn how to love somebody, learn how to um, remove yourself from toxic situations. I learned how to, you know, just be the man who I am today. And so I can't be more thankful for it or grateful for um, the dance that we we are able to do. And with that being said, like the, the men and the women that did everything that um, was needed for our ability to do what we do today. I'm not sure why I'm so agitated when I think about this question. What does it mean to be Canadian? As a person from Aboriginal descent, this is a loaded question. For me, I am proud to be who I am and who I have become and where I am working towards. But it's odd because people will ask you, what are you or what's your background? And there is a sense of pride when they say I am Italiano or I am Irish, etc. But I think it's messed up that being native has nothing to do with that. It has always been something that you aren't really proud of. At the end of the day, like, we, how do I say this the right way? There is not enough information or education about who came here and who was here first. And this is just through my um, upbringing, okay? What I learned in school, I felt was a, um, incorrect representation. Um, I don't know what it is now because I don't go through the system, obviously. I'm a 29-year-old male. Um, the vantage point changes depending on what your skin tone is. I did a research project when I was in grade 10 that was about our family's Canadian identity. That's what the school had asked us to, to write about is what is your Canadian family identity? And both my grandmother and mother both felt the same way. They felt the government had failed them. And growing up was difficult being known as the dirty Indians. Now the uncomfortable nature of me saying that pales in comparison to the actual reality of this being said to you on a regular basis. Now this is ingrained in the system, okay? This is generations. It is 
it's tough for me to answer questions about like identity and and what it means to be Canadian and all those things just because of um, the relationship my family and uh, specifically like my mom and my grand grandmother like the, the relationship they have with um, Canada and what it means for them to identify as Canadian um, and seeing how like I, I, I don't think I've ever heard them say they're proud to be Canadian you know what I mean and I think that there's a lot of people in the world that are Canadian that are proud to be Canadian and I think it's crazy that the people that are, are rooted and f that are native to the land don't feel proud to be Canadian. Now, some of them do. I'm not saying all of them, but I'm just saying there, there is, like I, um, TikTok, you guys know TikTok, yeah? So I've been a little bit on the TikTok game. Um, but, uh, so I follow this, um, this guy and he, he, he does like, he's, he's native and he does content and um, it's great content. A lot of the content is like people, he'll, he'll, he'll do re responses of people who like make fun of him. You know what I mean? And then he'll like roast them. And it's funny. But for him, I can tell that he has developed a sense of pride in who he is. But it's taken him a long, 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 long time. And I don't know if um, everybody needs to go through that same thing to feel that same sense of pride. And I am, I am only one story. I'm a f from a fragmented family that lost decades of time together because of a system that is made to have these Aboriginal women fail. So then they ask, well, what can we do in reparation? And that is another loaded question. And I think the problem here is the idea that money will make things better. And that is not enough. So what do we do to move forward? And what are we doing to move forward? I mean, there's so many men and women, 100%. Jenny Lagon. Like, I'm going to name people that I, had, I, I have connections with and I feel connected to. Um, Gregory Hines, never met the man, but Gregory Hines is... I feel like Gregory Hines has taught this whole community of young men how to be exactly that. Um, um, Harold Cromer, Dr. Harold Cromer. Like, like Harold, Harold, just the kind of guy that like would travel around the whole world and see all these, these students. Then you'd come to Edmonton and see some random kid like me for like a couple days. And then two years later, I go to New York and he sees me, takes the time to come to me, says me by my first name, and asks me how I'm doing. It's two years removed from me ever even seeing the guy. Um, and it's not even like, 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 it's just the investment. You know, it's the investment of, it's not like he's just doing this because this is what he has to do. Like, he's literally invested in all these people in the community. Um, and I know that I'm not the only person, and I didn't have a huge relationship with him, um, like like Sarah and Hillary, who had like very personal personal relationships. But um, Harold would be definitely like he was a type of guy that would like he he told me every time I saw him. He would always ask me, are you singing and are you acting yet? And that's the only thing that someone would ask you if they actually care about your ability to be a tap dancer. Because at the end of the day, uh, like these men and, and these women, they, 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 they want us to be successful and they understand that it's very tough to do this um, if all you want to do is be a performing tap dancer, and you have to be able to do other things. And um, so he was the first person that really, like, actually started asking me these questions. And 
there's so many masters of the dance that we can we can look up to and and, and name, but it's just it's it's tough to um, it's tough to pinpoint. But for me, in in my journey, I would say like Harold's probably the biggest influence in my dancing. And if there's anyone that I would like to um, think about or dance for, it would probably be him. I feel lucky to have found the dance in which I can put really my whole being and identity into and I can invest in myself and create a new image moving forward. And I feel connected to the culture of tap dance and what it means to be a tap dancer. I feel guilty. I feel like I've let my people down. How can I know more about this dance form than my own people and their way of life? And why don't I know their songs and their dances? And why don't I speak their language? I don't know their music or their culture. So here we are, as a Canadian and 29-year-old male still trying to find myself and figure out what it means to be Canadian. <laughs> 